Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines. Today we're going to look at Accent AI and AI Sky Enhancer. They're all part of one tab called AI Enhance within Luminar 4. We're going to look at it and see what we can do. Stay tuned. Uh, remember that I am a Luminar partner and if you want the discount code, go into the description, click the link, and then after that click the discount code to get $10 off. Hey YouTubers, I just want to go through the actual definition of what AI Enhance is all about. Now Luminar claims that Accent AI does a lot of complex stuff behind the screen. So there's a lot of computations happening. What AI Enhance allows you to do is really affect a photo with just one slider. You just pull a slider and everything you want to happen basically happens. Now it works with what they call human aware technology and it sort of recognizes people and applies adjustments selectively and it gives you like these ultra realistic results now the ultra realistic i think what they're trying to say is that it, it gives you something that's really nice to look at now i thought this picture of christine and sam would be great because first of all they're fantastic artists they look great in this shot and uh, we'll be able to show a bit of an example of how the sky uh, can be uh, made to look even better now, I was really lucky on this day. It was a really, really stormy day and the sun was popping out sometimes. So this shot you're looking at right now has not been doctored at all. This is the actual light that was coming out of uh, that day. Uh, I shot with the, this is a Fuji X-T3 and I was using the 50 millimeter to 140 millimeter f2.8. So let's just do this one slider thing and see what happens and then uh, i'll probably apply a bit of masks just because that's the way i am it's funny i had a viewer the other day who told me that uh you're applying masks to the sky enhancer why would you do that it recognizes the sky and it doesn't make any mistakes well yeah yes and no i also don't want the sky enhancer to affect certain parts as much as others Therefore, that's why I play with masks. So that's the way I work. So here's the interface. Uh, what we'll do is go into edit. Uh, in edit, you have your little tabs here. You have pro, uh, portrait, uh, creative, and essentials. So as you can see, uh, we'll go into essentials. And in the essentials, this is what you'll probably see for the first time. Like you might be in creative. You'll go into essentials. You'll see all these light, AI enhance, AI structure, color, da, da, da. You're going to click on AI Enhance, and you're going to have two sliders. That is it. You're going to have two sliders. So let's move up AI Accent just a tiny bit and see what happens. We'll let go. You can see right away that the first thing I know it's doing, it's affecting the sky and the subjects. If I click this off, you can see what happens to the sky. Turn it back on, off, on. So just with one slider, it's already affecting the sky right right off the bat. But it is also affecting the subjects a tiny bit. I don't know if you notice. Let's look at Christine's leg. Just right around here, the leg and her arm part. If I turn it on, you can see that there's a bit of contrast applied and a couple of other things to enhance. I believe most likely there's some sharpening occurring as well. Let me see off on yes see the leg now christine has a little little line tattoo there and when i turn that off you see it a bit less and it sharpens up so there it is listen that's just one button you know what i kind of like what it did with the sky i would probably <laughs> i personally would stop here and i wouldn't do anything else <laughs> to the shot but let me just pull ai accent back down Okay, go back to the original photo, and let's just pull up Sky Enhancer. Now, Sky Enf Enhancer, in theory, will recognize what is Sky and what isn't and go affect that. Now, it'll do what it has to do to make the shot better, so, you know, it's going to enhance contrast, uh, bring out the clouds and stuff. So, let's just pull this up really slowly, let go. Uh, I just uh, have to mention to you guys, when you're working with Luminar, don't just hold your slider, let it go. Because there is a certain, for some reason, uh, live-wise, Luminar is a bit slow. But once you let go of the slider, it processes the images and shows you what's going on. Because you can't just hold it. For some reason, it's it's bad for perception. Don't just hold it and say, well, nothing's being affected. you got to let go and let it happen. That's pretty darn amazing. You know, I don't even think I have to do any masking on this. 
because I think it's doing a great job with the sky. That is really nice. I wouldn't, I would really wouldn't affect this uh, too much. So AI accent affects the whole photo. And you, you can see in the street here, there's some stuff being done, some detail being put in. Let's, let's go look at that. Let's go look at the street. Yeah. I really think it's, you know, it's just doing a great job on its own. I thought it was going to really affect this. Uh, I will definitely not. Now, let's bring up both to 50% and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to go numerically here. 50. Make sure they're both at 50. Now, this is a bit too much. Personally, I find it's just a bit crazy. I really think it's one or the other. You go AI accent, which basically affects everything or AI Sky Enhancer. Personally, because of the way I am, I am a subtle photo editor. I don't like to go too nuts and process too much. So this is probably something I would take. I really like this shot right here. So there it is. You got AI Accent that does the whole photo and you got AI Sky Enhancer that just affects the sky. Remember, you guys, you can always mask with the brush, radio mask, gradient mask, or a luminosity mask. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you in this video, guys. You get to check it out, see what you think. Personally, here's what I would do with the shot. So there it is. That's what I would do. Listen, that's a time lapse. <laughs> Oh boy, realize guys that Luminar 4 has a lot of cool stuff and a lot of cool one slider stuff. It's not for everybody. It really is a software that is when you want to do stuff quick and get something attractive, nice and do it really, really quick. You can do a great job. Uh, you guys, you get to comment. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe. And don't forget, everybody, keep on making something from nothing.